Hi! In this tutorial, I will show you how to set up a data collection service using Google Sheets as an example. Tilda supports integration with more than 20 popular data collection services, which can help you gather and manage the information you receive through the forms on your website. To start receiving submissions, you need to add a block with a form to one of the pages on your website and publish it. By default, all the data from the forms goes straight to the Leads page. You can find it by going to your website dashboard and clicking Leads. The data will be stored there for a maximum of 30 days. There is also an error log section where you can check if the data are correct and detect any errors. If you would like to store information from the forms for longer than 30 days or automate its processing, connect one or more of the services listed on this page. You can choose the service best suited to your needs. If you would like to receive submissions in a timely manner, we recommend you connect your email address or Telegram account. If you use a CRM system for handling customer requests, connect it and work with the data directly in the system. If you are collecting subscribers for your mailing list, select your preferred email marketing service and new subscribers will be automatically included in the appropriate list. Connecting service is simple and straightforward. First, activate your chosen service in the Forms section of the Site Settings. Then, add a block with the form to one of the pages on your website. In the block settings, check the box near the connected service and press Save and Close. Then, publish the page. Let's go over this process in greater detail. To connect Google Sheets, we need to click on the service name and then on Connect Google Sheets. Once you've granted access to your Google account, Tilda will generate a new blank spreadsheet where the data from the forms will be collected and stored in your Google Drive. You can assign Google Sheets to all the forms on your website in one go. You can skip this step if there are no forms yet or if you plan to use different services for different forms. Now you can see that the Google Sheets service is connected. It has an auto-generated name and the status indicator says active. In the settings, you can change the name of the list or reconnect the service if, for example, you have changed your Google account password. Let's change the name of the spreadsheet to Masterclass Submissions. You can also assign this service to all forms on the website or delete it. Now let's proceed to the page where we collect submissions. I have already prepared the form here. This form is based on the BF204N block. If you want to find out more about setting up forms, check out our video tutorial, find the link in the description. Let's go to the content panel of the blog and check the box for the table we have just created. Then press Save and Close and publish the page. Let's open the page to see the form. I fill in the form. and click on Submit. Now let's go to the Forms section in the Site Settings and click on the Masterclass Submissions spreadsheet. In the spreadsheet, we can see the data from the submission I have just completed. If you intend to receive submissions that require multi-step processing, for example, there is a gap between submission and receiving payment, or the sales manager needs to get in touch with the user, then we recommend using Tilda CRM as your data collection service. Tilda CRM is a free system that will greatly simplify processing submissions. You can tweak its settings to configure fields, set up stages, add collaborators, and more. You can connect Tilda CRM in the same forms section in the settings. You can find out more about the features of Tilda CRM in our Help Center. Find the link in the description. Tilda also has a Members area. This feature allows you to set up a private area on your website for customers, partners or students. It is useful if you want to publish marketing materials or videos and grant access to certain people. They can be added manually or gain access automatically by filling in a sign-up form. You can also set up a section in your members area as a data collection service to add users automatically or with pre-moderation. 
you select a group and, as with other services, check the box for this group in the Settings panel of the form in the editor. For a more detailed configuration of the Members area, see the video link in the description. You may also need to forward submitted data directly to a third-party script. To do this, select Webhook and insert a direct link to the script. We recommend that you connect an additional service along with the main one. This will prove handy if for some reason the first one suddenly stops working. In this case, the data will also be available in the alternative service. At the very bottom of the Forms page, you can find a link to the General Form settings. Here you can set up custom error messages that will appear if the user has filled in the form incorrectly, decide how long submissions will be stored in your tilde account, a month, a day, or not at all, meaning that your visitors' submissions will not be stored on tilde services. You can also change the language of the data collection service messages and enable stronger spam protection. You can switch to a stricter mode if you note unusually high numbers of suspicious submissions. In this case, the capture will be shown more often. Finally, I'd like to flag up some potential errors that you can face while setting up data collection services. To make sure that the chosen data collection service is working, don't forget to publish the page after checking the box and saving the settings. You also need to make sure you republish the page in order for changes in the settings to take effect. If you are experiencing issues with receiving submitted data, double-check the status of the connected service on the Forms page. The status should be active. If not, then try to reconnect the service. Another important detail, the data collection services only work with an active tilde subscription. If you export your website, host it on your server and stop paying for the subscription, you will have to connect your own script to receive the submission data from the Forms. Well, that's it. Connect the service that suits you best and receive and process submissions wherever convenient. Find the detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to connect and set up various data collection services in Tilda's Help Center. We attach the link to the description of this video. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.